So hi, today we'll talk on teratosuspermia. Teratosuspermia is a very unique abnormality in the semen parameter, wherein you're finding more number of abnormal sperms. Basically, it tells us about the condition wherein the sperms look abnormal. Well, sperms are known to be in a certain way. They're supposed to have a head, a midpiece and a tail. So if there are defects in how the head is shown or the midpiece develops or the tail develops, then it's called as teratosuspermia. Now, teratosuspermia is known to be one of the factors to cause male factor infertility in couples. And evaluating teratosuspermia, if found, is a very important factor. Ideally, we expect at least more than 4% of sperms to be of normal size and shape. In case any percentage lesser than 4%, we call it as teratosuspermia. Now this again can be classified as mild, moderate or severe depending on what percent of sperms are normal. The common causes for teratosuspermia are testicular reasons. For example, undescended testis. If a man has undescended testis at birth, it can lead to malfunction of the testis and lead to teratosuspermia. There could be other reasons that can affect testis, like for example, if there have been infections of the testis or history of chemotherapy or radiotherapy, systemic endocrine dysfunctions, all this can affect the production of sperms or rather production of normal sperms and lead to teratosuspermia. The other common cause is a varicocele. Varicocele is a condition wherein the blood vessels around the testis are enlarged as a result of which the temperature around the testis increases. See, ideally the temperature at the testis should be one degree less than the body temperature. That's the reason why testis are designed to be in the scrotum. But in case there are dilated blood vessels around the testis, this can increase the temperature around the testis and thereby lead to malfunction of the sperms, which in turn can lead to teratosuspermia. Exposure to excess heat and toxins, for example, in men who are working in industrial zones wherein they get exposed to excessive temperature around them or get exposed to excessive chemicals, these exposures can also lead to teratosuspermia. And of course, oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is seemingly high in men who live in very polluted environments or men who indulge in smoking or drugs. So all such factors can lead to increased oxidative stress, which in turn can lead to abnormal shape in the sperms. Last but not the least is also genetic or congenital causes. Now, if the gentleman is carrying any mutation in the genes that are responsible for production of sperms, especially a condition called as globosospermia, wherein there is a mutation which can lead to globular sperms without acrosome. In such situation, all sperms will be abnormal, which means there will be zero normal sperms in the semen sample, which might need further investigation in the form of a genetic test. With the result of a teratosuspermia, there can be certain tests that the doctor might recommend to identify the causes and also to see if there are any other added abnormalities in the semen sample. The tests that might be recommended to identify the cause would include endocrine tests, which might have serum FSH, that is follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, serum prolactin, thyroid, sugar testing, that is HbA1c. There might also be a suggestion to go ahead and perform an ultrasound examination of the scrotum to see if there are varicoceles. Varicocele can also be clinically diagnosed. But some genetic tests might be recommended like a karyotyping which is a simple blood test to know the chromosomes and the pattern. The additional tests like Y chromosome microdeletion might be suggested if there is teratosuspermia along with a severe oligoastenospermia that is severity in reduced count and motility. Apart from that with sperm testing there could be additional semen testing like DNA fragmentation index, semen culture and sensitivity and really a reactive oxygen species measurement or ROS tests. So management of a condition of teratosuspermia. Once the investigations are in, the first line of treatment would be to identify correctable causes and correct the endocrine factors or correct the infection and things like that. There could also be suggestion for correcting lifestyle factors like if there is indulgence in smoking to you know stop smoking. Oral antioxidants might be prescribed to reduce the reactive oxygen species burden in the gentleman which might indirectly help improve in the sperm concentration. If the varicocele is stage 3 or stage 4 or rather grade 3 or grade 4 and bilateral, in such situations surgery can help in improving teratosuspermia so that can be considered. Hormone therapies are indicated only when the tests show normality in the hormones like 
like an hyperplatinemia or hypo or hyperthyroidism or diabetes which needs to be corrected prior to taking up for any form of treatment in the event nothing works then ART comes to the rescue or assisted reproduction technology especially ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm injection so in the event of major severe teratosuspermia ICSI is line of treatment to improve the outcome towards pregnancy one additional technology that can help with teratosuspermia is IMSI that is uh, intracytoplasmic injection of morphologically selected sperms. MC is a specialized equipment which helps in increasing the magnification of the sperms to almost 6,000 times the magnification, which helps in identifying all abnormalities with respect to sperms, including vacuoles within the sperm head or in the midpiece. And avoiding such abnormal sperms and selecting the most normal one can actually improvise the outcome with respect to the ART. Many men with mild to moderate teratosuspermia can still achieve a conception either naturally or with small treatments like IUI. But however, in the severe forms, there might be a need for IVF, ICSI or even MC. We need to also keep in mind that the treatment in addition to teratospermia can be affected by factors of the lady like female maternal age has a very high prognosis towards the outcome of cycle. Teratospermia in itself can be treated as long as it's not absolute. Conditions like globospermia can be very tricky and uh, treatment might be a little complicated. But however, any form of teratospermia wherein you can find at least 1% normal forms, most often treatment outcome is quite good and the pregnancy may ensue either naturally or with IVI or even with ART. So if we have to know the gaps and controversies and debates around teratosuspermia, yes, the clinical predictive value of teratosuspermia is always debated because fertile men with good fertility history sometimes have teratosuspermia and infertile men wherein there is difficulty in achieving pregnancy also exhibit teratosuspermia. So the clinical value of having abnormal sperm in the semen sample is quite debated. However, if there is teratosuspermia associated with other parameters like low count, motility and all, the research is quite clear there. But when it is only teratosuspermia, with count being normal, motility being normal. Yes, we can still wait for some time for natural conception to happen. In the event it doesn't happen, one can move towards ART. With respect to teratosuspermia and treatment with antioxidants, research is still controversial. Yes, there is no hardcore evidence to say antioxidants may improve. But however, logically antioxidants can reduce reactive oxygen species in the body and can improve the sperm parameters. So indirectly helping in a natural conception. At present, teratosuspermia still lingers with a lot of controversies around it. But the bright aspect is that it's a treatable abnormality and even the most severe forms can be treated by ICSI or MC.